According to latest reports, the work on the throttle assembly of the 1S21 full-scale model of AMCA has started, and the delivery of the full-scale model weighing less than 4,000 kg will happen in the next six months. The Maidani Group has already supplied the titanium alloy material to VEM Technologies, that is needed to make a full-scale model of the airframe for the AMCA. The full-scale model will move to the outdoor radar cross-section test facility in 2022, to validate the design and for the measurement of the radar cross-section, and to verify if the stealth characteristics meet specifications determined by the DRDO and Indian Air Force. The Aeronautical Development Agency will then conduct the flutter test in various configurations, to ensure that the AMCA is safe and free from self-excited vibrations at all points in the flight envelope. That will include flutter analysis when one missile is fired or one drop tank is ejected, that will be followed by flutter analysis with weapons bay open and closed in later phases. Future test phases will be to validate and measure installed antenna pattern, gain and phase measurements for the AMCA's communication navigation and identification and electronic warfare systems. The DRDO is all set to conduct the first developmental test of the China-centric prelay short-range surface-to-surface guided ballistic missile, that is specifically designed and developed as a tactical missile system to be used in theater level like the Russian Iskander and the Chinese DF-12. The prelay has a range of 500 km, and it can carry a payload of 1000 kg towards its target. The prelay will be tested from a mobile canister launcher, that will come as a big boost to Indian military planners for a conventional strike against the northern adversary in various sectors along the line of actual control. The Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited has announced that it has indigenously designed, developed and manufactured the Garuda 105 Go Anywhere gun, and it has pitched this ultra-lightweight mobile gun system for the Indian Army's Mountain Strike Corps. The Garuda weighs less than 5.5 tons, and features a 105mm 37 caliber mobile weapon system with 360 degree firing capability, state of the art soft recoil technology and digital fire control, and is mounted on 4x4 wheeled chassis that enables all terrain maneuverability in even high altitude regions. It can be easily fitted on any in service vehicle for quicker deployment and features shoot and scoot capability, onboard fire control panel, and electrically controlled elevation and traverse. A scale model of a missile known as Veda was recently spotted at the office of DRDO chief, and it is speculated that it is the Mark II variant of the anti-satellite missile that had demonstrated its capability of destroying a low orbital satellite in 2019. The new missile could also be one of the two interceptor missiles of the Phase 2 of the BMD program, for intercepting enemy intermediate range ballistic missiles in the exo-atmospheric region. The Pakistani media had recently compared the Chinese PL-15 missile with the Meteor missile that are equipped on 36 Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, but according to a new Chinese document, the export variant PL-15E is reported to have a range of only 145 km, that will be integrated on the upcoming JF-17 Block 3 fighter jets. The Chinese PL-15 uses a conventional rocket motor, while the Meteor uses an advanced air-breathing ramjet motor, that gives it greater maneuverability as it approaches a target. Indian security forces are keeping a close watch on the activities of the Chinese UAVs in the eastern Ladakh sector, as they are operating close to Indian areas and near the friction points on a regular basis. The Chinese army has also deployed two batteries of the S-400 system in occupied Tibet, and has also started testing the Big Bird early warning and battle management radar of the S-400 system. 
India and the United States will sign a Memorandum of Understanding on Space Situational Awareness by the end of this year, under which the NETRA facility of the ISRO will receive critical data from the Combined Space Operations Center located at the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, about space debris and other objects in the space, and potential threat they could pose to the safety and security of the new launches as well as the existing satellites and other space assets.